Hello, this is Il Duce Primo, and I'm going to be making a video tutorial on ground modeling. Uh, the first thing you would have is your level, or if you were making your level, I like to work in edible poly. So, for tutorial purposes, I'm going to select and delete a few faces and redo the geometry there. So, say I want to take this, delete that. Well, a few nifty tools I commonly use is I'll be selecting an edge, and while holding down shift, I'll be moving that, and that shift drags another whole face. And you can manipulate that to create any sort of shapes or just two new vertices that you can play around with in your geometry, you know. Another common tool I use now if you got a hole or if you didn't have a clip or anything, or say if you did, you can select that whole area and cap it. Real quickly create, I don't know, a floor for where you're gonna sculpt almost. What I like to do is use the cut tool now and come in here and cut in vertices, add in vertices that you can uh, work with. So let's see, put one there, one is there, let's bring another one here. And you can go crazy with the cut tools depending on how many tries you want. And if you get too many, don't worry about it because what you can do is collapse them. So say if you have a bunch of vertices right here, it's hard to see vertices are very tiny on my max right now but say you have these three selected come up here hit collapse well now there's just one let's move these and just pretty much sculpting away with these and when you do use the cut tool it does cause some issues so every once in a while you might want to select all the vertices you've been working with and weld sometimes say you had 72 or right now we have 71 it might go down to 69 70 just like there might be a vertice right on top of one and that can cause some problems so you don't want that and you can create some new edges if you don't like the shape of an edge you can go in and say backspace these edges here and then just go and create them at the triangulation you want Let's say we got this triangulation here we got all these vertices we can pretty much make this train any shape we want just move around that's pretty much the basic uh... way i would do train so now if we go over here to this mound and if you reference blood gulch i have right in here imported you can check out their uh... triangulation and where a mound is they'll add more uh... tries you know a little more detail add more form where it's flat you don't need as many triangles so it's not as detailed. So we're gonna go back to this mound. It's fairly more detailed than other places, but still could use some more triangles. So let me go in here with the cut tool, you know, slice it up a bit. Do whatever, do our thing. And basically just moving some vertices around. Add a little more shape, whatever form you want. If you can get a little more intricate, add a little niche bump players can hide behind little stuff like that does add to the terrain you know not all terrain is perfectly round and it just say this hill it's not going to be perfectly a perfect slope you know going all arc so add some character and go and just create some edges the triangulation you want and that's basically it well hope you use these techniques and create some cool stuff anyway I'll see you.